This could be a sleeper. Copper and Kings, Kentucky's American Brandy Distillery and official member of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail has released for the first time statewide a bourbon. Now this bourbon is not without its highlights, including high ages in the blend, an apple brandy finish, sonic aging, and a competitive price. Let's taste it, stay tuned, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. for The Mash and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. Before we dive in today, I'm gonna get this poured, and I also want you to hear about today's video sponsor. It's the game changer, the amazing Z-Biotics. Today's sponsor is Z-Biotics. The game changer is back. It's the amazing prebiotic I've been using behind the scenes for months now. I don't know if you guys have realized this, but it's the end of September, which means we're getting into October, November, December. The holiday season is right upon us. On top of that, there are some bourbon festivals happening that I'm gonna be attending, and I'm definitely gonna have Z-Biotics in my back pocket. So how does Z-Biotics work so well? Z-Biotics was developed by some very smart scientists who knew the real problem is not dehydration, but it's actually a byproduct of alcohol that is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme like the one your liver uses to break down this byproduct. So anytime I know I'm gonna either be going to a bourbon festival, lining up a few drinks to do a blind tasting, uh, going to pick a barrel, or even doing some blending, I know that I could always count on Z-Biotics to get me going the next day. All you have to do is drink one of these about an hour before you start drinking, and that's it. Obviously, drink a lot of water to stay hydrated, and as always, get a good night's sleep. But Z-Biotics will make it a lot easier to get you out of bed or off the couch. This is real science that works, guys. There's no random plant extracts, no off-the-shelf ingredients, no sugar added, 100% money-back guarantee. What are you waiting for? If you haven't tried it yet, here's how you do it. Get 15% off your first order of Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic by clicking the link in the description box and using my code MASHINDRUMP at checkout. On top of that, if you leave a comment below on how Z-Biotics worked so well for you, Z-Biotics may choose you randomly to win a free 12-pack. That's right, a free 12-pack. So now is the time. If you haven't tried Z-Biotics just yet, with all the holidays coming up, I'm telling you, you're gonna be glad that you have this on hand. So go grab some now, and thanks to Z-Biotics and to all of you for making the sponsors happen. Cheers. So if any of you out there have never heard of Copper and Kings, they are known for crafting delicious American brandy, uh, influenced by American whiskey and music, that uses traditional copper pot distillation to create untraditional American brandies, absinthe, gin, and liqueurs that are non-chill filtered with no added sugars, colors, artificial flavors, or synthetic chemicals. So basically everything all natural, full flavored, just as we like it. Now using some of those same methodologies, Copper and Kings has created a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, which is made from a blend of five, 10, and 15 year old bourbons. That's right. That then is finished in American apple brandy barrels for 12 months, so a full year in American apple brandy. The final blend was created by head distiller Brandon O'Daniel. It's bottled at 111 proof and offered at a competitive suggested retail price, of only 65 bucks. Now another interesting thing Copper and Kings does is sonic aging, which roughly translates to persistently playing intense bass in their maturation environment 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which in theory gently shakes the barrels. Very similar to what you see or what you hear about Metallica's Blacken brand doing as well. Now from what I've heard, the five-year-old bourbon is from Bardstown Bourbon Company. The 10 and the 15-year-old bourbons are also from Bardstown, but I would think those are probably more from either Heaven Hill or Barton, which is generally where a lot of the high age source stuff is coming from these days, so let's dive into it. You definitely get the apple peel here. The apple brandy is definitely strong here, especially on the nose. Man, it smells like a cigar to me though. Very, very cigar heavy. Cigar, tobacco, apple brandy. There's a pastry vibe going on here too. Little apple cinnamon, some pie crust. I'm trying to decide if the apple in this is like too much for me. I mean, I know it's finished in apple brandy for a year, so you're gonna get that apple, but yeah, it's pretty strong. All right, let's see if it's overly apple-y on the palate. Here we go, cheers. Wow, to me on the palate, I think it's way more than apple. There's a lot more citrus than I thought it was gonna be, a lot more orange zest. I mean, the apple is there. You're gonna get that apple brandy finish, but 
Really nice balance, good spice. Nothing seems to be overpowering quite yet. Okay, second sip, it went a little bit more towards earthy. So those tobacco notes I was getting on the nose really quickly translated to the palate. So it's like apple, sweet tobacco. I think the cinnamon and that black pepper is still there. You can still get a lot of spice. With that high spice, I, I tend to think of Barton because Barton is a high rye and generally drinks a little bit hotter. Um, so I'm, I'm really kind of leaning towards there's probably some Barton in here, but I mean, there's some nice sweetness to it, but those earthy flavors that you pick up from the apple brandy and again, kind of like that sweet tobacco note, they're pretty powerful. Finish is a little bit drying. You get more of the apples there. I think that spice and that, again, that sweet tobacco note just really kind of sucks the moisture out of the back of your palate a little bit. It does tend to get a little bit apple heavy as it goes forward. This one's this one's a thinker. I really like the, the blend and the balance of it. However, the dryness of it a little bit on the back end, the fact that I would say it's less sweet and more earthy, that, you know, that could change some things for some people. Yeah, I, you know, for me, this is unique, it's different in a good way. I've had some other Apple Brandy finished products, but I don't know, something about this is a little bit more layered, a little bit more complex. The Apple Brandy is strong, but I, if you really kind of dig, I really do appreciate some of the other flavors in here. Now, whether or not the Sonic Aging is really doing anything with it, I don't know. I don't really even know if Sonic Aging was used in this process. Uh, maybe when they were finishing in the Apple Brandy, I would assume. Those earthy notes, the sweetness, it's, this is begging to be paired with for a cigar. So let's go to the final breakdown here. All right, guys, final breakdown on the new Copper and Kings Apple Brandy Finished Bourbon. Uh, again, price 65 bucks. Uh, secondary market value, haven't really seen these at all yet. Availability, these are just rolling out now, so I'm not really sure how available they are in Kentucky. However, a couple of folks did tell me that these are pretty abundant down there. So if you happen to be in Kentucky, uh, around this time, you might have a good shot of running into one of these. Value for this one, I'm gonna say above average when you're talking about a $65 bourbon with five, 10, and 15 year old bourbon in it. Again, we don't know the proportions exactly, but I do feel like I could taste some good age in this bourbon. The most I'd pay for this, given its earthy flavor profile, I'd probably stick with the $65 price tag. I don't think it's anything that's blowing me away. However, I do think the flavors here are unique and like I said, just begging for cigar pairing. Alternatives to this one, when you talk about Apple Brandy Finished Bourbon, you have the brands like Nulu and Starlight. Those are kind of the two I could think of that are doing some really good Apple Brandy finishes. However, I don't think I've had one with anyone using bourbon this old, if I am if I remember correctly. And lastly, recommendation, is it a skip? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buy? Is it a buy and back it up? For me, I'm gonna have to give two answers here just because this whiskey to me is pretty unique. So. I think if you're a cigar smoker, you like earthy undertones, not only in cigars, but also in your bourbons, uh, a little bit more oak, a little sweet tobacco, then this is a buy. Cause I think this is, like I said, it's begging for a, a cigar pairing and I think it could really go well. Plus the ages in this, again, we don't know the proportions, but you got some nice age whiskey in here. I think that offer up those earthy undertones to the bourbon. However, if you're not used to that, I would say this is a try before you buy. So it's still very good. It could open up and get sweeter, but like I said, this is kind of like my first impressions. I have not tried this yet, uh, just until now. And I kind of dig this because I just think it's different. And this, this I, I think could actually be one of those sleeper finished uh, bourbons this year. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Copper and Kings Apple Brandy Finished Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Let me know if you've had this yet, if you're on the hunt for it, if you've even heard about this bourbon yet. And like I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Master Drum. Cheers, guys.